Hello, everyone. This is Randy Johnson, pastor at Carroll Street Baptist Church here in Tomball, Texas, and I want to welcome you to this edition of Five Minutes in the Word. I thank you so much for taking time out from your busy schedule to watch uh, this this short video, devotion thoughts uh, from God's Word. I pray they'll be a blessing to you. Over the next uh, several weeks, uh, we're going to focus in on family issues uh, in in these uh, these little short videos that we share with you uh, from God's Word. It's going to deal with different aspects of family, and I just pray there'll be a blessing to you, uh, be an encouragement to you and your family and your walk and relationship with God. Uh, watch for these. There'll be, of course, on Facebook, uh, my timeline, and here in this uh, this uh, group, Carroll Street Baptist Church Family Group. I'm going to put them on uh, Twitter and uh, also have some on YouTube. And so you just search for Five Minutes in the Word and you ought to be able to find where uh, these videos are. Uh, family uh, is, uh, my, my heart goes out to family. It's hard today raising kids. It's difficult raising children today. Uh, it's difficult uh, having a, a home that honors and glorifies and exalts God. And uh, we we just we're able to receive some instruction from God's word on the how to have a home that will will magnify and please God. It doesn't mean we're going to be free of trouble and free of difficulty, uh, but it does uh, state uh, that God will see us through and help us through that time. So I pray you'll be a, be blessed. First first thing I want to share with you today is that decision that you and I need to make, especially dads and husbands, that we need to make uh, in relationship to who our family is going to serve and who our family is going to live for. Listen to these words of Joshua. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve, whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Now, you might be saying, well, wait a minute now. I'm, I'm not serving any false gods. What are you talking about there? The gods of the Amorites? What, what do you mean? Well, uh, let, let's let's bring it down to, to us in reality today. And, and I very simply stated, anything that you and I put above God becomes an idol to us. Doesn't matter what it might be, what it is. Uh, if we value that and place that uh, as a higher priority in our life than serving God and living for him, that becomes an idol to us. And Joshua just simply states that his family was not going to serve idols. They were not going to serve uh, false gods. They were going to serve the true and living God. And uh, that's that's what we need to do. Now, listen, I'm not talking about being religious. I'm, I'm not talking about religion. Uh, I'm not talking about just believing in God. Uh, but I'm talking about a relationship with Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Uh, I'm talking about a relationship where, where you want to honor and glorify God in your home and in your family. And God becomes first place and first priority in your lives. Uh, I'm confident that many of the issues and troubles that families face today could be averted uh, if there was just uh, an obedient and submissive walk with God and a love for God's word um, and a following God. Doesn't mean we're, we're not going to have problems. They'll, they'll come. There's going to be trials. There's going to be tribulations. There's going to be heartaches and hardships. But there's just something about serving God and being able to give those problems to him. Uh, that brings a peace that passes all understanding. Listen, our family, uh, George and I, we struggle just like any other uh, American family, uh, just like any family. Uh, we struggle. We 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 uh, have moments when uh, we just you know kind of feel overwhelmed. But we've learned something down through the years uh, by making a conscious decision to live and serve God every day. The problems and the heartaches and the troubles and the difficulties and all of these things that come our way, they're made lighter uh, by simply surrendering and giving them to God, letting him have those burdens. So like Joshua did at the very close of his life, 
uh, we need to make that decision on whom we're going to serve. And can you say that it's for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Thank you for watching. I pray it's been a blessing to you. Remember, watch uh, on social, me social media, I'm sorry, for uh, these uh, editions of Five Minutes in the Word. Feel free to like and feel free to share with others. This is Randy Johnson helping you to keep the faith, experience the victory, and live the dream.